Hello sixth graders and welcome to the first module of the second trimester of 2020. In today's class, we're going to go over a list of 12 words. This assignment that you're going to turn in and upload as a Word document is going to have two parts. The first part is that you're going to write out all the words that I'm saying, all 12 words. You're going to write them out. And the second part, you're going to write sentences with six of those words. You're going to choose six words and write sentences. Now, remember, your sentences have to be between 9 and 14 words long. So count each of the words in your sentence and make sure that they're not less than 9 words and not more than 14 words in each sentence. Now, let's talk a little bit about the importance of pronunciation. As I've said many times before to many other students, if your English sounds like your Spanish, then something is wrong. Don't worry about an accent. We're, most of us are going to have an accent. That's not the issue. The issue is that you cannot read words in English in the same way that you read words in Spanish. If you don't know how a word is pronounced, you can easily Google it. You just write pronounce and the word that you want to know, and Google will give you the pronunciation of that word. And then you practice it over and over again until you get it right. Everybody looks up the pronunciation of words. Even I do it sometimes. So don't feel that it's something bad or that you're cheating if you have to check the pronunciation of a word. Another important thing you need to bear in mind is that you need to surround yourself with constantly hearing English being spoken. So sometimes watch a movie in English or if the movie is in Spanish, what, read the subtitles in English. Make sure that at some point during the day you are being surrounded by the English language, whether it's spoken or re written. Another important thing that you need to remember in order to improve your pronunciation is that you need to practice in front of a mirror. Sometimes you need to just stand in front of a mirror and start speaking English and pay attention to the way in which you move your lips and your tongue. And next time you hear somebody speaking English in your mind, repeat the words and pay attention to how they're moving their lips and their tongues. That's going to certainly help you to improve your English pronunciation. So now I'm going to tell you the 12 words. I'm going to go over the list twice, really slowly. And remember your assignment, which I'm going to repeat at the end of the 12 word list. So let's get ready. Number one, creature. Creature. Number two, pleasure. Pleasure. Number three, efficient. Efficient. Number four, feature. Feature. Number five, natural. Natural. Number six, flexible, flexible. Number seven, puncture, puncture. Number eight, enough, enough. Number nine, oily, oily. Number 10, leisure, leisure. Number 11, physical, physical. And number 12, turmoil, turmoil. Now let's go over the list one more time. And remember, like I said before, you can always Google to find out the correct answer. And there's nothing wrong with that. This is spelling class. And what we want you to do is learn to write the words correctly and to pronounce them correctly. So I'm going to go over the list one more time a little faster and uh, make sure you are writing them down and then you can check the correct spelling. Number one, creature. Number two, pleasure. Number three, efficient. Number four, feature. Number five, natural. Number six, flexible. Number seven, puncture. Number eight, enough. Enough. 
Number nine, oily. Number 10, leisure. Number 11, physical. And number 12, turmoil. So remember, your assignment is part one, write down these words. And part two, choose six of these words and write strong sentences with each word. Remember that your sentences need to be between nine and 14 words long. So after you have written out your sentence, count each word and make sure you have no less than nine and no more than 14. Thank you so much and enjoy.